Hello and welcome to this TIBCO Cloud Integration how-to video. This video shows how to integrate with Marketo. We need to start by creating a Marketo connection. To do this, we need information from your Marketo account. Log on to your account and go to the Admin section. On the left-hand side, look for Integration in the menu. Then we need to go to Web Services. If we scroll down to the REST API section, we can get the REST endpoint and the identity endpoint URLs. These need to be copied to the connection definition. Under launch point, we can select the credential we want to use. And again, we need to copy that client ID and secret to the connection definition. Now we fill this information into the Marketo connection definition. We give it a name, a description, and then enter the values from Marketo, the URLs and the ID and secret. Once this is done, press login to test and save the connection details. Now that we have the connection, we're going to get started and create our app. First, we click on the Create button. Provide a name for the app and click Create. We will create a web integrator app and add our first flow by clicking on Create a Flow. We'll call the flow Get Lead Data. For this demo, it's going to be an HTTP REST service so that we can test it from the browser. So we will select the REST trigger. We'll specify the resource path, including the lead identifier, select the get method, and copy in a sample JSON response, which will return the first, last names, and email address of the lead. Click on Create. This creates the flow. Let's select the flow to edit it. We can see that it has created the HTTP receive and reply tiles. We will start by moving the reply tile, click on the plus, and select the Marketo retrieve. Now we tell it to use the Marketo connection we just created. It will build a list of defined objects, and we will select the leads object, and then pick an action of lead by ID. The next step is to go to Output Settings and select the fields we want returned. Marketo presents a flat structure for the lead object and contains a large number of fields. At the top are custom fields, and at the bottom are standard fields. We need to scroll through and select the fields we want. First, we have found first name, so let's select this. Scroll up, and we have email. Select this. Then we need to find ID. And then we need to find last name. And again, select it. We can validate that we have all the fields that we want on the Output tab. Expand the Result object. We can see that we have ID, first name, last name, and email. To retrieve the data from Marketo, we need the Lead ID. This was passed in in the Trigger data under Path Parameters. Here we have Lead ID, and all that needs to be done is select the field which tells the system where the data comes from at runtime. Now we can move on to the reply. And here we need to map the results onto the output schema. To do this, we can select the field and then find the field we want via the search box. Here we type in ID and it shows us the fields that match. Again, we select the field we want. We now do the same for first name, and then for last name, and finally for email. We can check that the mapping is all correct, and then deploy by pushing the app. Once it has deployed, we can select the app. Here we can see app metrics, environment parameters, and the log. 
In the log we can see the running state of the app. If we get any unexpected errors, we can look here for more information. Let's click on Endpoint and then View to test the API and our call to Marketo. We can test our process by supplying a valid lead ID. We know that 455 is a valid lead on our test system for Bruce Wayne. So let's click on Try It. And we can see the return response data from Marketo. Thank you for watching this short how-to video. More how-to videos and demos are available on our YouTube channel. You can find out more information by visiting the TCI area on the community site. The community gives you the opportunity to share insights with other TCI users, get ideas and updates on TCI features. From the community, you can find a link to our GitHub site. Our GitHub site has a number of projects and samples to help you get the most out of your TCI subscription. Lastly, if you have ideas or suggestions with TCI, you can submit them at ideas.tibco.com. Tibco Cloud Integration empowers users to quickly and easily connect applications and APIs from their browser. To see how TCI can help you, sign up for a free 30-day trial at cloud.tibco.com.